Gaming Bolt presents 15 things you cannot resist doing in video games. There are some things in games we can't help but do. As gamers, there are some things we're just predisposed to do. Here are 15 things you cannot resist doing in video games. Picking up everything you can. We'll admit it, we can be hoarders sometimes. In games like Fallout, Skyrim, or The Witcher, we will pick up anything that isn't nailed down. Weapons, potions, drowner's brain, nothing is safe. We pick up so many things that we don't even notice that we've become over-encumbered, so we crawl to the next item and add it to our bulging pack. Shooting red explosive barrels. Areas and shooters are always littered with one thing in particular, red barrels. They can come in handy when you need to clear out a horde of enemies, but most of the time they're just plain fun to shoot. Watching the flames and smoke destroy everything in the area and barrels lead to other barrels lighting up is mesmerizing. Rolling instead of walking. Walking? That's a young man's game. Real heroes roll. If video games have taught us anything, it's that constantly rolling is a lot faster than running. It's become second nature at this point. We don't even consider running through an area in games like The Legend of Zelda. Our fingers just go right to the A button and start mashing. Constantly reloading. There's nothing worse than turning a corner and getting ready to unleash an entire clip on an enemy only to discover that you're out of bullets and you need to reload. To make sure this absolutely never happens, we're constantly reloading. It always has a cool look to it and it never hurts to play it safe. Saving or killing everyone in a game where choices matter. Games like Mass Effect and Until Dawn let you choose the fate of a lot of your companions, but no one ever just lets half of their team bite the dust. After an initial playthrough, people scour every corner of these games, figuring out ways to save all of their friends or lead everyone to their demise. Rolling into crates and smashable vases. Developers sometimes fill their worlds with crates and boxes, just to make it feel more alive, but it also gives players a great distraction. Rolling or diving into barrels and vases is like an addiction. Watching the wooden porcelain scatter across the ground is something that gamers are obsessed with for some strange reason. Pulling off a headshot, especially from a long distance. We all know that headshots are the most impressive and difficult way to down an enemy in a shooter, but when the opportunity arises, it's difficult to not place your reticle on your foe's forehead. Headshots are made even better when you can pop off a group of enemies without a single one of them knowing. Stealth kills if given the option. Optional stealth kills have become all the rage recently, but we always opt for them when we can. Sneaking up behind an enemy and silently striking them down never ceases to satisfy. Optional stealth can be so fun that we'll reload a checkpoint just to complete an area as quietly as possible. Performing stunts and massive jumps in vehicles. Virtual vehicles aren't just for driving, they're for taking massive jumps and death-defying stunts with no consequences. When driving around in GTA, even if we're on our way to an objective, if we see a ramp, we'll immediately make a beeline for it. These stunts don't go well a lot of the time, but that's what makes them so much fun. Panning the camera for no apparent reason. Games aren't always engaging. They have their fair share of quiet moments, but we don't just enjoy this downtime, we frantically wait for it to pass. Something we constantly find ourselves doing is rotating the camera around and looking over everything in the environment. To be honest, we find ourselves doing this even when we shouldn't, sometimes just because we can. Trying to sprint the moment the stamina meter reaches to its max level. Sprinting has become a luxury in a lot of modern games, but some games stifle players by including a stamina meter that limits how much they can sprint. As soon as we use up our stamina sprinting across a grassy field, our eyes are drawn to the stamina meter. As soon as the bar looks like it's filled up, we slam our fingers down on the run button and hope that the bar is actually full. Getting hold of an awesome new weapon and wasting bullets in the process. Guns are meant to be fired, even if there's no enemy in sight. Picking up a new weapon is always a cause for celebration, and what better way to test out a new gun by wildly firing into the air? It wastes bullets, sure, but you never know how long you'll have to wait until the next batch of enemies stumbles along. Manually climbing on steep mountains and falling numerous times. Some mountains aren't meant to be climbed, but that doesn't stop us. If a mountainside or other surface is too steep for our characters to simply walk up, then a game like Skyrim have taught us that the best option is to jump up at a slight angle. 
This ridiculous technique isn't always the most effective, but no gamer ever thinks about not at least trying it. Driving a car and running them over pedestrians. The GTA is so popular because it lets us live in a world devoid of morals. This may sound very serious, but it actually gives way for hundreds of crazy, satisfying moments. Walking into the streets, stealing a car, and then haphazardly speeding down city streets with no regard for anyone in your way is something we've all done as soon as we can in any new GTA game. Getting hold of a flamethrower and burning every damn thing. Weapons in video games are all about empowering the player, but few accomplish this as well as the flamethrower. It doesn't matter which game you're playing, spraying fire through an area never ceases to satisfy. Moments like burning the weed fields in Far Cry 3 or engulfing your enemies in flame in Call of Duty World at War give us a sense of power that other guns simply can't deliver. We hope you've enjoyed this video, so please consider subscribing to our channel. We do original content, reviews, graphics comparison, and much more, and try to upload a video every day.